Hello everyone, this is going to be an overview and demo of my Simplex 4001C. This is a conventional panel with two or four zones, this is a two zone model, and a choice between one or two NACs. I don't have too much documentation on this particular model, but I would assume this panel was first produced around the same time as the original 4001s back in the mid 80s. 4001C was made up into the mid-2000s and was designed for the Canadian market. It has bilingual English and French lettering, as well as ULC certification. For the sake of comparison, I'm going to refer to this panel as the 4001C and this panel as the 4001. But let's run a demo on this one. So here's our setup. For initiating devices, we have a 2099 9754 pole station, and a 4098 9601 photoelectric smoke detector on a 4098 9788 base. Both of these are newer devices, but they're also ULC certified. And for a notification appliance, we have a 2901 9723 6 inch bell. Panel set on continuous, so let's hit it. silence. Now let's activate the smoke detector. Okay. Set the pull station. And reset the panel. And we're back to normal. That concludes our demo. Now let's take a look at the circuit board. I removed the faceplate to down there. The signal, earth, and power supply trouble indicators are all located behind the faceplate, which is pretty interesting. Up here, I believe, is the date code. 27th week of 1997, and it just so happens that the bell manual is also dated 1997. For reference, the 4001 was discontinued around 1994. Down here are the power connections. We have screw terminals for the AC line, which is nice, transformer, and a capacitor over the battery terminals. The reason why I did this is because I don't have batteries small enough to fit inside this cabinet. So I just have this capacitor here to bypass the battery trouble. Up here are the controls. Alarm aux disconnect, the drill switch, trouble silence, signal silence, and system reset. As a side note, some 4001Cs have a button instead of a switch for the trouble silence. Looking at the terminal blocks, over here we have an alarm relay, a trouble relay, and a city line. Two zones. And some pins and jumpers. On the H2 block, the jumper will be adjusted there if there was an optional card such as an enunciator card installed. The H1 block is used to toggle the NAC as Class A or Class B. For Class B, we get two NACs but each NAC needs a resistor for supervision. For class A, resistors aren't needed, but we only get one NAC, two wires in and two wires out. The signal ground, and lastly, terminals for 24 volt, non-resettable remote power. Taking a look at the inside of the door here, it's a little hard to see, but the model number is 4001-9303C. The 9304C has four zones instead of two. And this panel is made in Canada. The very bottom is the wiring diagram and options list. So let's take a look at these options. 
So here are the dip switches for the options. By default, all of these are set in the on position. Switch 1 is for walk test. Switch 2 is for signal coding. On this panel, we have continuous or march time. Switches 3 and 4 are for signal silence inhibit. And on the 4 zone panel, you can also select the water flow sprinkler feature. Switch 5 is for alarm verification. And switch 6 is for auto signal silence after 20 minutes. So here's a quick walk test demo. Walk test functions exactly the same as it does in the 4 one But well, anyways, here we go. Real quick, we can hit the draw switch. And there you go. That concludes the walk test demo. And now for a quick alarm verification demo. Okay, the panel did a soft reset, and there should be enough smoke to activate again. That concludes the alarm verification demo. Now let's compare the 4001C to the 4001. Both panels are about 9 years apart, but the biggest difference here is that the 4001C is smaller. It measures 13 inches tall, 10 and a half inches wide, and 4 inches deep. The 4001 is 13 and a quarter inches tall, 16 inches wide, and 4 inches deep. While the face plates on both of these panels look quite different, their internal circuit boards have a similar layout. Power connections are on the bottom left, control switches are on the right, and screw terminals are on the top. Function-wise, the 4001C is simpler and does not have some of the features that are on the 4001. The biggest one would be enunciator support, which is built into the 4001, but the 4001C requires an optional card. The 4001 has its own set of optional cards, like Zone Disconnect, which are installed next to the circuit board. Any optional cards on the 4001C are installed behind the circuit board. Another missing feature on the 4001 is support for four-wire smoke detectors. Despite this, the 4001C does have a drill switch and a signal silence indicator, which the 4001 does not have, and it also has two Class B NACs as opposed to the 4001's single Class B NAC. I should clarify that the signal circuit output on both panels has the same maximum current of 2 amps. So even though the 4001C has two NACs, the current limit remains the same. In the end though, both panels essentially function the same, with some minor differences. They are the smallest simplex panels I have in my collection, and they are also the easiest to install and operate. And that concludes the overview and demo of the Simplex 4001C. This panel is pretty rare, so I'm glad I was able to make a video on it. And I hope this video was informative to you. Questions and comments will always be appreciated. And until next time, have a nice day.